Welcome to this week's episode of Debriefing Design. Today, we will take you behind the scenes to see the transformation of this worn out Southwestern style study into this warm and bright library sanctuary. This is Operation Casa Madeira. The owners of the study had owned the property for several years and were tired of not being able to utilize the study at the same time. The pine wood fronted melamine bookshelving was also inadequate for the amount of books our avid readers collected throughout the years and had been sagging for quite some time. At first glance, the study and the rest of the house had incredible architectural features, including the Vegas and the Tia detailing on the ceiling, but the study was doing nothing to showcase these elements. The lighting was also insufficient for a reading and workspace even though there were two skylights in the room. The study had a good footprint, but did not utilize the space to its full advantage. During our initial walkthrough, we learned that even though the shelves were completely full, it only represented about 40% of our client's full literary collection of nearly 200 boxes of books. Our clients were both professionals who worked out of the house but could not ever use the study at the same time due to the lack of work surfaces. There was also a closet tucked in the corner of the room with a pair of bifolding doors that kept getting stuck on the tracks. Also, the entire house was designed with a radiant heated floor system as part of the foundation, but the carpet in the study was rippling and needed to go. Even though the room had a tall 10-foot ceiling, the existing soffits and cabinetry were disproportionate to the room and made the room feel squatty. We originally set out to demo the existing built-ins and soffits and take up the space from the adjacent bathroom's vanity area to accommodate additional depth for a hidden safe room, but eliminated it from our scope when we value engineered the project due to budget. Our design solution focused more on the built-ins rather than changing the wall configuration of the room. We ended up with an entire back wall of built-in adjustable bookshelving that was broken into three equal parts and two equal parts due to the architecture of the room. It is important to have vertical breaks for built-in shelving if you know you will be putting heavy items on the shelves. A horizontal shelf has a certain weight limit before it starts to sag in the middle, no matter what material it is made out of. On the wall of the original built-in desk, we designed a deeper lower section with lockable lateral file storage drawers and bookshelves above. Because the original desk was tucked into an alcove, we wanted to take advantage of the extra depth. This also allowed the clients to use the bonus counter space for display or to set items on. On the opposite wall, we originally designed a built-in workstation for both clients with cavities for their monitors and diplomas above. We also designed a shared T-shaped workspace perpendicular to the wall unit so they could have additional work surface. However, this was also slightly modified when we value engineered the scope and we ended up trading it out for an existing desk. We ended up with lockable storage for their equipment below, keyboard tray drawers for their peripherals, and additional shallow shelving above so they could place their monitors in front. Our design tactic for correcting the disproportionality of the space was to extend the height of the built-in bookshelving to a consistent datum line across the entire room. This helps to draw the eyes up so one could fully appreciate the height of the room along with the architectural ceiling features. As a part of the taller shelving, we also added a rolling library ladder at the top of the left and back walls of shelving. The ladder was custom built out of the matching wood species and stored vertically out of the way when not in use. This was such a fun, useful feature, but also a great conversation starter when our clients had visitors over. We also added LED uplighting at the top of the built-ins to help bounce light off of the ceiling for ambient lighting, accent lighting for any items on display above, and also to highlight the vigas that span the entire ceiling. Our clients regularly read 100 books a year, so correct lighting levels were essential. We turned up the brightness of the room and replaced all of the existing recessed cam lights with LED retrofit bulbs with a high color rendering index, or CRI. As we age, our eyes start seeing yellow, and a light source with higher CRI helps us see colors truer. We also replaced the ceiling fan with a modern update with integrated LED lighting. Additionally, we added accent lighting along the vertical edges of the bookshelves so the fronts of the books would have a subtle accent glow. All of the LED lighting was placed on dimmer switches so the owners could control the ambiance of their new sanctuary space that they used for doing research 
reading, studying, online coursework, and working. For the cabinetry, we ended up using a natural cherry without any staining or finishing, so the wood had an opportunity to age gracefully. We complemented the cherry wood with an engineered walnut on the floor. We originally planned for a solid wood flooring, but after the carpet was removed, we discovered a height limitation between the subfloor and the adjacent saltillo tiles throughout the house. The engineered wood flooring also withstood the heat from the radiant heating system much better and was also thinner than solid wood, which allowed us to have a level transition between the new library and the remaining parts of the house. The clients selected this calming green as the final touch to their sanctuary. Now, they often shut the doors and sit and read inside for hours, enjoying the natural daylight coming in through the newly repaired and operable skylights. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions or feedback regarding this project. Thank you for joining us this week on Debriefing Design. Make sure you subscribe for future episodes. Operation Casa Madeira, case closed.